All I want to do is protect the people that are supporting me and even those who don't support me. We are all responsible for them. And we as leaders have to make sure that we take a stand to rebuke and reject any political intimidation, to rebuke and reject anything that is political violence creeping into this campaign. 2020 must be a time when we set a clear message to Jamaica. It's a different Jamaica. It's a different politics. Put that old politics aside. I've said it many times, but I've noticed a pattern from the time I came here and we started by election. We've noticed a pattern of breaking the law, of canvassing persons at polling stations, of sending messages to persons that you're going to win at any cost. Well, let me tell you, I'm not afraid because I don't walk alone. And I'm going to make sure that we work with the police and we encourage the community members to give all information that they have to the police officers. Because the criminals that slaughtered Paul Henry will be caught. And I hope that they get exactly what they deserve within the ambit of the law. Thank you. Mr. Charles Jr. further stated that political intimidation will not work. The mood is dampened, you know, not because of COVID, but because we lost a friend, a, a soldier for the party. And I am hoping that anyone who believes that political intimidation will work will understand I'm sending a strong message. You will not deter us. We will not stand down. We will reject and rebuke any political intimidation, any political violence. We had one of our supporters beaten two days ago when Peter Phillips, the opposition leader, carried his convoy into Southeast Clarendon. We have had posters burnt this morning. I got pictures of posters and banners burnt. It will not work. You will not win. And we will not stand down or step back. We are going to show that we are going to lead, encourage our, our supporters to be responsible. But we are going to do all that is necessary to make sure that the Jamaica Labour Party retains Southeast Clarendon.